I'm stuck. Stuck in a ditch. Okay, awesome. Thank you. If I had space, I'd put you on the back. fiddling with his bike anyway this is what detritus happens when you're on the road mm. things get increasingly harder to pack especially when you're buying gifts for people <laughs> uh, anyway exactly halfway through the, 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 the trip in Queenstown so um, today is, a, is off to Christchurch and then uh, then we'll go Kaikoura, or, or we're going to do um, the Linda's Pass today, which I'm quite keen on. Um, and then we're going to go to Christchurch, then through Kaikoura, up back to Picton, and then the long haul home. So uh, three, three days, two nights to go. Such fun. Engines are on. Day four. The day to Christchurch. We're just leaving the holiday in now. set my destination to Christchurch see which way it takes me Christchurch anyway had a good night slept well thank you Zoppy clone and we are off to Jack's Point to go and have a look at the section that we bought a couple of years ago to see what's happened to it if anyone's built on it I'll need to get fuel as well. Had a nice pizza last night. Queenstown town itself is so busy, there are millions of people. It is Christmas week, so understandable. Would have been nice to have spent a few days here doing stuff, but without the spouse, we will just book another time next time. Off we go. Back on the road again. The early morning beauty. Crisp, cold, clear, comfortable. Life is good. Here we come to Jack's Point. It's been a long time. Sold our property over a year ago. No, a year ago. Maybe two years now. Goodness, time flies. So I'm here to have a look at the section that we were had our big dreams of our holiday home. Just thought I'd be keen to see if the owners have done something with the section or if it's still lying empty. And if we're lucky, we might be able to grab a nice cup of coffee from the clubhouse. A little bit of a building uh, site at the moment, which is not great. Here are these little ones. There's the golf course on the hill. Here are the new apartments, the restaurants being built. Soudly caught. And there it is. section here. Ta-da! <laughs> Still open and empty. Yeah! What's nice is this section backs onto the course. So there's no houses there. There's a, a course and open areas and then the golf courses on the other side. But there's so much building. It's like a building pl place, man. They're going nuts. Yeah! Beautiful. Yeah, everybody's holiday home. Yeah, yeah. 
Anyway, that was the section. And we, we, the plans were something like that. But we changed them to something like that with the alcove inside. Make it a bit more interesting. We all have to be quite similar, right? There's a long list of rules. And actually we wasted a lot of time because our builder struggled to get the, our, our requirements into the rules. So it took a long time. Anyway, this is what it is. Let's walk around. Or let's drive around. Beautiful remarkable right there above you. Anyway, maybe one day we will, uh, when we retire, we will come and just buy here. And uh, the kids will just have to come and visit us more often. Rather than us having to be close. This one over here was for sale, we nearly bought it but it wasn't quite what we wanted so we ended up uh, going for the section in hindsight we should have bought it <laughs> would have been much cheaper rain coming in. I feel kind of sad in a way that we didn't end up doing this. Such a lovely place. And with those mountains behind it, it just is majestic. It just doesn't, uh, didn't work at, the, at that time. Didn't make sense. Maybe one day it will. Maybe I can wrestle Nadine over here. But not now. Too difficult to work here have to retire here. It is what it is, onwards and upwards, time to go fuel, time to go and get some lovely coffee and time to crack on, we've got a long ride today. I don't like 95 but it's what you get here. Goodbye Queenstown. That um, wine farm that's got the cave is coming up soon. I think it could be this one, yes. It's this one. So up there, probably see the top peeking out. There's a subterranean cave where they've hidden the, all the barrels. the Lindus Pass Alpine Highway. That's it. 40 k's of uh, a pass. Should be quite interesting. lanes either. So apparently this is a lookout but I don't see too much to look out at unless there's a breathtaking view ahead of us now. And there isn't. 
Okay, well, that was Linda's Pass. I think it's all downhill from here. Maybe in the winter it's covered in snow. place to stop. Bring uh. Omarama on our way to Twazel, then Lake Tekapo for lunch. And Russia stopping. even a snack <laughs> at a very touristy place Lake Takapo <sighs> okay we have left uh, Lake Takapo at a nice uh, nachos and uh, mince and beans lunch and now we are off our next stop is going to be in Geraldine it's only an hour away it'll be the right place for us to put some fuel in um, and with the next stop is an hour away after that in Ashburton and then another hour to Christchurch and we kind of want to crack on to Christchurch so Rush can uh, see if he can get into a motorcycle shop to get his microphone sorted so we're going to crack on quite quickly and uh, hopefully we'll get there by 4, 4.30 a couple of things um, we're 46 k's, 45 k's away from Geraldine the, uh, the landscape's changed a bit, the mountains are gone, there's now foothills, uh, it's kind of a little bit more familiar in New Zealand for me, still mountains there, but um, yeah, rolling hills, um, I've got uh, 94k range left on 44 kilometers, which sounds on paper more than adequate, but um, I do know that petrol tanks can somehow evaporate towards the end in terms of range and endurance so I'm trying to keep the bike in a sixth even at slow speeds um, just to try and keep the, the fuel consumption down at the moment I'm doing 4.1 liters per 100 k's and my average is 5.5 so just double check that 4.0 now I've been really good so welcome to Geraldine sign it's uh, Happiness. I've still got a 1.8 k's to go to the city centre or the town centre but I have got, oh my range has gone dash dash how's that, that would terrify me it went from 40, 45 kilometres range to go to dash dash the petrol station cute little place but I need fuel, not cute buildings Let's go here. This very helpful man on his motor Gutsi gave us some advice on how to get into Christchurch through a, lo a longer route but will avoid a lot of traffic which will be nose to tail apparently from Rakaia so we're going to try it because we don't want to get there too late and uh, I just loaded it into the GPS I didn't have time to put it into the uh, 
the garments so I'm just going to be using good old GoPro uh, sorry good old uh, good old Google Maps for this particular stint sorry man Stuck. Stuck in a ditch. And rice is coming. Run man, run! <laughs> okay, awesome. Thank you. If I had space I'd put you on the back. I'll just keep him company. Actually, he doesn't feel left behind. See, I'm keeping you company. <laughs> Thank you. We have arrived in a place called Glen Tunnel. Hello. Sounds like Rush trying to get hold of me. I think we should stop here just for five minutes. On the spot, what is this? Milk, coffee, food, groceries. Anything else? Uh, something motorcycles. <laughs> Clearly. So on 50 minutes. Yeah. So we're doing very good time. Anyway, here we are. Honda Casbolt Motorcycles. I'm assuming it's all one place. It's behind you. It's behind you. But they have phoned somewhere around the corner for us, which is very kind, and found another place that closes uh, Swedish, so we have to get going. Just a couple of minutes away. Trevor something.